Good evening, and welcome to the Kennedy Center's Millennium Stage, brought to you by Target and the Marriott Foundation. Every day at 6, the Millennium Stage brings you the best in music, dance, theater, and more. Each night's performance is broadcast live and available on demand on our website. As a courtesy to this evening's performers and audience members, please turn off your mobile devices and note the nearest exit. Flash photography, video recording, and audio recording are strictly prohibited. We hope you enjoy tonight's performance. tonight. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for coming out and taking part in this experience tonight. But before we welcome the other artists on stage, let's give it up for Sam Gordon, also known as DJ YouTube Comments. We're so grateful to Sam for curating these global sounds of transcendence, and you can hear his music again tonight at Tropicalia. Thank you so much, Sam. I'm Nafisa, and I'm with the Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center. We're a museum without walls, and we're also a cultural lab that showcases the art, history, culture, and potential of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders all over this country, and even around the world. And we're really excited to partner with the Millennium Stage and the John F. Kennedy Center tonight for Now You See Us, From Periphery to Presence. This program is all about letting our communities reclaim their narratives and bringing culture that exists on the fringes here in the United States to the front for broad and diverse audiences and to showcase the diversity of our own communities. We're really grateful to several community partners. We couldn't do this without the support of our partners, Subcontinental Drift and Tropicalia. In addition to that, we would also love to thank the Sanctuaries DC. It's a very special organization here, uh, local to Washington, D.C. They activate arts and creativity for community healing, and we're really honored to have an opening performance here tonight by a rock star group of performers who I'm going to introduce to you shortly, and I would love for you to interact with them, and as they get started, I want you to give them a really warm round of applause. So if you guys could join me, join me on stage as I introduce you. Osa is a hip-hop artist from the DMV who believes that rap is a form of spiritual practice. His influences extend from early hip-hop artists to Afro-jazz musicians, and he believes that music is a tool for social change. Bakht Arif is a licensed social worker, musician, street theater director, singer, and performing arts activist. Arvind Venugopal is a Carnatic classical vocalist, leads an electronic fusion band called Tameva, and is a performing leader at the Sanctuaries. Nasima Abeda is a DC-based writer, community builder, and a daughter of Eritrean immigrants who believes in the power of storytelling for social good. So if you could please give them a warm round of applause for their opening performance. Ah, 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 ah,
Mesiti. Good evening. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for joining us here at the Kennedy Center. We're pleased to be with you. We hope that you enjoy this time with us, although it's short. We hope that we can connect with each and every one of you. Grateful to share our art with you and our stories and our talents. And we hope that hope that you can feel where we're coming from. And in honor of our Muslim brothers and sisters, I greet you with the Arabic greeting, Assalamu Alaikum. Look, they say it's hard to really see it and the reason why we live in. Don't chase it with your eyes, can recognize it till it's given. The world in front of me became the molding of my vision. The pain that came to me is what I blame for my decisions. How do I find the courage when my heart is feeling missing? How do I find the time when I know that the clock is ticking? I'm a soldier for this love is guaranteed to be my mission. Wish I could find it easy like I see it in the children. I'm looking back as I move forward, saying Kofa, I want a love that explodes, call it a supernova. What it takes to reach the heavens, let me stand closer. Put the pieces all together, witness Jehovah. God is patient with the sun, he plant the seed and let it grow. When I love it unconditional, I learn to let it go. Open your arms, that's what I'm talking about. Without a doubt, I can feel the love reaching out. Love reaches out. Thank you. Joy. Joy passes through the doors before the heat. And I am wrapped in love. So much love that I do not care, that I did not achieve all that I had hoped for this month. For now, I will eat, I will drink, I will sing, I will laugh. Forgiveness reached out, and I held her hand for as long as I could. So now we celebrate. Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Vakratunta Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurme Deva Sarvakarye Shu Sarvada Nirvignam Kurme Deva Sarvakarye Shu Sarvada Ghoom 
तेरा मेरा मेरा तेरा घूम ताना ना ना ताना ना 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 तेरे ना घूम ताना ना ना तेरा मेरा मेरा तेरा घूम ताना ना ना ताना ना 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 तेरे ना घूम ताना ना ना रखियो बाला झूले लालन लाल मेरी हक अल्लाह ओ लाल मेरी पत रखियो भला झूले लालन सिंदड़ी दा से बनता शाहबाज कलंदर रखियो भला झूले लालन लाल मेरी पत रखियो भला झूले लालन सिंदड़ी दा से बनता शाहबाज कलंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर दमा दम मस्त कलंदर या लाल Thank you. Let's sanctuary give it up for the sanctuaries one more time, folks.
Thank you all so much uh, to the Sanctuaries team for presenting us, for gifting us with that multi-faith invocation for the opening performance. And without further ado, I'd love to welcome our featured performers to the stage tonight. Gais Esser is a contemporary Afghan composer, instrumentalist, and producer who channels his melodic designs through the rabab, a 2,500-year-old instrument from Afghanistan. He has toured extensively, and he just released his latest album, which you can find in the back over there, and was recently awarded um, an award for his composition for The Breadwinner, which is a film that you can stream on Netflix. Born in Hyderabad, India, and raised in both the UK and the US, Shami Ali Naim is a Philadelphia-based poet and visual artist, a former public interest lawyer supporting economic justice for survivors of family and intimate partner violence. Shami Ali's poetry is widely published in various publications. Her latest book, City of Pearls, is also coming out soon, and you'll be able to learn more about that through the Smithsonian APA website, where we'll post the early purchase link sometime later tonight. Let's give them a warm round of applause. Hyderabad evening. Bami Dakkan evening makes it easy to weep near parched fountains and crumbling architecture. Where birds dive through cracked arches and solitude helps to stitch the patches of one's life together. Tears 
tears flow with ease as you sit in secluded courtyard and wonder, what was this place before the storm? River Musi, my beginning lies by the River Musi, bisecting my birthplace between old and new city, tributary and life source to a city of pearls. Musi flows like a fissure in a heart now split in two. Polluted river swells and recedes, streaking oily rainbow ripples over glossy water. South of the river, old city, with my father's home and his Shia shrines, heart and eyes, memory of floods and earth that holds rebellious bones. North of the river, Malafali, with my mother's home and its winding streets, lungs and gut, and breath that does not remember when the sky dips low to kiss you. On some other earth, under a different sky, I dream you. Do you remember me? Your daughter. Born at sunset, a beginning of evening. No matter how far, whatever bridge I cross, I kneel by your banks, tenderly cup you in my hands, love you. At the River Musi, my city becomes whole.
invocation. My dad walks with me in the mornings. The sun is new. Even in the cold, I can feel him in unknown spaces and collapse. If I were sad, he'd bring me fruit and water. If I were scared, he'd listen and offer counsel. He would give me a poem. He would tell me a joke. And I would know that he was there. I've never seen my dad cry, but I have seen him leave this world. I felt him as a machine sang a flat note parallel to a digital line on a screen. I reached for his hand. My dad walks with me in the mornings. He taught me how to plant things. He showed me how to herd sheep, to pay attention to life force, listen to the earth. He would tell me, this is but a moment. He would tell me, you're a good mom. He would show me maps in the sky and how evergreens never lose their emerald. He would read Aito Kursi and it would smell of safety and rose water. He would say, Aleph, Lam, Mim, and I would know that he was there. He would say, this world is full of secrets. He would say, listen. Partition story. One. My father left this world, and with him, some of his story. I have small bits, but not the whole. This is the story where we've gone back to Hyderabad together, back to the graves of my grandparents, back to the things that are no longer there. Maybe he would tell me how much has changed. Maybe he would tell me what was here once, the path that he walked to school, and the places that he loved the most. This was the story that I was waiting for. Two, I cling 
to glimpses of things shared quickly over kitchen tables. Somber sits in silver bowls like constellations as he mentions the long walks by the cattails, photographs of reflections in the water, the places that he worked, his love of learning and determination to save lives. But I never got the full story. Would sit there on the edge of his lips like a small cloud. Maybe he left that story on the Dukkan Plateau. Maybe he wasn't looking back. Or maybe I never asked. Three. In a frame is a picture of a small boy not smiling, post-partition India. He's standing straight with a heavy bag of books across his shoulder like a shield. He's holding in a story, rain within clouds. He kept that story somewhere tucked in the suitcases and train windows, the buses, the car rides, the planes, over oceans, over continents. Kept it. Four. This is the story that you will lose if you do not ask. All the things we never say. All the things we never say are teetering at the edge, frozen by the heart's cliff. A valley of unsent letters and deleted text messages, they dwell in a parallel dimension, become alternative realities. <laughs> An easy road veering towards the direction that was right compass in a sea of synchronicity, a sky full of constellations, the place, the place where it all worked out. Overnight train, 15 hour journey on a lonely train through southern India. Sloppy Urdu dropping from a tongue dressed in a Maryland accent. I fall in love with imaginary places, including the one that I was born. Small hands hold a ticket so thin, holding a translucent wing of a, butt of a dragonfly. The sound of tracks, dust, and blurred lights pass like a lullaby moving in frozen time.
impossible in response to the Muslim ban? How, how do you ban soul? Spring, stars, a butterfly's path, dense ocean basin currents, the guiding song of whales. How do you ban the orbit of moon? Kurbani. Ma has her hair up with pretty eyeshadow, salmon chiffon sari, and churia. Dad is in a suit and tie. My sister and I wear frocks and knee length socks and the bata shoes because this is an event. Where are we going, Ma? We ask. Stop asking questions, she says. The frocks are itchy and it is hot, but this is an event. When we finally get to the theater, we are late. It is filled with the fragrance of aunties and uncles, perfume and bon, crying babies and chatter. Because who stays quiet in a filmy flick? Remember, this is an event. The movie is underway, and a collective gasp overcomes the theater at the first glance of Zenat Aman, flower in her hair, and red sequence dress. It feels like an event. Nazia Hassan is singing, and in the dark aisles of a Maryland movie theater, I spin with my sister at this magnificent event. Fitter. Hey, auntie with the silver hair reflecting the sky. I haven't seen you in years. You hug me and whisper, Eid Mubarak, kid. How have you been? And I love that you called me kid. And I felt that way in your embrace. Strangers on a train. He's the first to notice a face gone blank in a train car of oblivious. He noticed her conversation with a door closed on half her body and the slow beginnings of a train picking up speed. She's trying to pull herself in while he pulls an emergency cord. Strangers say, I care for you best because they have no reason to care. No one knows each other's names or how work was that day or will I ever see you again? Only, are you okay? Yes, thank you. See you around?
Goddesses and doormats. Pablo Picasso, Pablo Picasso has said, there are only two types of women, goddesses and doormats. Everyone would like to believe they are Mott, Venus, and Kali. But there are many doormats, one in front of almost every door. I feel reverence for the doormat, beautiful underdog, underappreciated, disregarded one that you think isn't anything, seemingly without gifts and nothing to say. In fact, you may not notice her at all. Bristly, unassuming thing with a corny saying on top. Hello. Welcome. Love. Deity at the entrance, resistant to shock, immune to damage. She is the guardian of the doorstep. She's the first thing you touch before entering a home. You perform a daily ritual at her temple without thinking. She's born from the fiber of tender tissue that surrounds the seeds of coconut palms the guts of Cocos Nucephra, made from dignified hands. People reveal themselves in her presence, humble, arrogant, cruel, kind. She's aware of the manner of the step. At night, the moon comes to rest on the small of her back craters, scars, and light, her language. Channeling. I wasn't always this way, worried and unable to see an end to multiple storms. I wasn't always this sad and afraid, but today, serves as a reminder to years before when I labored, messy and sweaty, fantastically filthy, privately magnificent. The contractions were punctuation marks and timing was everything. A kite held with a flick of a wrist that moves it into a wind current of lift. Do you need an epidural, they asked. No, thank you, I said. Even though I felt like I was being pressed into the earth by the weight of each band of constricting energy, split in two, but not breaking. My breath intentional. I was floating into a rip current not moving against it. Finding home. In this room filled with late night dreaming, your cries wake me again. Is it the fifth time you woke? Is it really 5 a.m.? The scent of you, fresh and safe. Skin, soft. Moonlight's caress on moving water. The four days old of you, bundled close against me. Was it you inside me all along? You within me. When I learned of your presence, summer's gentleness against my skin, the air gleamed bright, the sky open. In my muscular nest you nuzzled, swam in a concealed sea, urgently grew beneath my heart. And you're here now, drinking breast milk close to me once more. In the last sigh of this night, 
sweet, fragile life in my care. I curl around you fatigued, feeling some ancient story coursing through me. Your warm breath painting luminescent landscapes against my skin. And at this moment, she swept over me. Home did. Not the brick variety or nation. Though I searched for her, it was she who found me. We wept in the serene yellow light, glowing sincere. We exchanged stories, reconciled. She missed me. Was this me? Bearer of life, birthing dreams, under the light of the last star shining before daybreak, nourishing and protecting my now sleeping infant, fluttering smiles of contentment like sunlight my own belly full of belonging after finding myself. It isn't in the wings or the flying where freedom takes place. It's in the quiet cosmos of your unbecoming. In a case of silk, your essence is protected while imaginal disks shift, molt into mystery, cave in. May a song be an anchor while your body falls into itself. May you find beauty in the reconstruction. Do you remember your simultaneous origin and conclusion? Do you remember how once in a cocoon you met yourself? Himalayas, you smelled the fragrance of your own mortality. You found your reflection in the mud. You honored, you honored the way you loved, the way your heart broke, how life became living, became generative, regenerative magic, mimicked nature, experienced itself. When the boulders lodged in your spine finally turned to dust, 
When you learned how to stand straight. When you laid flowers at the entrance to your womb. When a thread of light lit a river through you, a conduit between the Earth's core and infinity. Here, you kissed the middle of your own palm, above the lifeline, below the heart line. You experienced how spirit rests at the colors at the edge of breath, meridians, small portals to no space or time. Stop longing, wishing, caring, became bone, blood, breath, a heart of four chambers in release. Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. 